Hello friends, today we are going to do the comparison between HP 15S FQ 5090U and Asus VivoBook X1502ZA. Both these laptops come with Core i5 12th gen processor, 8GB DDR4, 3200MHz RAM, 512GB NVMe SSD, 15.6 inch Full HD screen but there are subtle differences between the two let me explain you the differences first so the hp 15s fq 5090u comes with core fa 12th gen processor 1235u processor this 1235u processors processor contains 10 cores in which eight or uh, eight cores are uh, efficient cores and two cores are performance cores. So this is a 10 core processor. 1235U is a 10 core processor in which 8 are efficient cores and 2 are performance cores. Whereas the Asus VivoBook X1502ZA comes with Core FA 12 Gen 1240P processor in which uh, this 1240P processor is a 12 core processor in which uh, 8 are efficient cores and 4 are performance cores. So you have you will get 2 more performance cores extra in 1240p processor. Both are Core i5 12 gen processors but there is a difference in the numbering. The HP laptop comes with 1235U whereas the Asus VivoBook comes with 1240p. And both these laptops come with uh, 8GB DDR4 3200MHz RAM but whereas the HP laptop HP 15S FQ 5090U comes with two 4GB RAM modules which can be expanded up to 16GB RAM. So if you want to expand the RAM in HP uh, laptop you need to remove the both 4GB RAM modules and install two 8GB RAM modules to make it 16GB whereas in Asus VivoBook you get a single 8GB RAM module soldered onto the motherboard and you will have an extra slot where you can expand the RAM, the total RAM till 24GB. That means if you have 8GB is already soldered onto the motherboard, so you can add 16GB more to the laptop to make it total RAM of 24GB. Now coming to the SSD part, both the laptops come with 512GB NVMe SSD, NVMe SSD, there is no difference in that and coming to the display part. The HP laptop comes with 15.6 inch Full HD IPS LCD display which supports 250 nits brightness and both and the Asus VivoBook comes with 15.6 inch Full HD non IPS LCD display which supports 220 nits brightness. I the HP 15S FQ 5090U laptop doesn't come with fingerprint scanner whereas the Asus VivoBook X1502ZA comes with fingerprint scanner. The HP laptop doesn't come with a privacy shutter for the webcam whereas the Asus VivoBook comes with a privacy shutter for the webcam. These are the major differences and I will be showing the subtle differences like the ports, uh, how the keyboard layout is, how the build quality is while going through the complete video. Let me show you how the, both the laptops look from the top. As you can see this is the adapter. Both laptops come with 65W adapter whereas this is the HP uh, laptop adapter. It's like an old sort of adapter, old laptop sort of adapter and you can see HP is a silver color and Asus VivoBook is a ice light uh, silver color. So it's a blue, it's a blue tinge to the silver and this is the adapter for the Asus VivoBook and this is also 65W adapter. You can see that the Asus VivoBook adapter looks a bit modern compared to HP adapter. This is how the bottom uh, looks for both the laptops. This is the HP laptop. To the left it's always HP laptop and to the right it's always Asus VivoBook laptop. So you can see there, there are 8 air vents to the back of the HP laptop and even the Asus VivoBook has air vents. Whereas you can see the speaker grills, two speaker grills to the bottom. Uh, to the lowest part of the bottom. Uh, the Asus VivoBook has two speakers, two bottom firing speakers, whereas the HP comes with two top firing speakers. I will show you that as well. This is how both the laptops look when you open the lid. You cannot use your single finger to open the lid. You have to use both your hands to open the laptops and you can see that uh, the bezels in Asus VivoBook are a bit less when compared it with HP. The top and bottom bezels of HP are more when compared it with Asus VivoBook and you can see both the laptop uh, bezels are black in color and whereas the keypad of uh, HP is silver in color whereas the keypad of uh, Asus VivoBook I mean the keys 
in the keypad or black in color in Asus Vivo book. So it, it gives a contrast uh, color for Asus Vivo book and the HP uh, key, key, keys are uh, silver in color and the whole laptop is silver in color except the bezels of the screen. In Asus Vivo book it's a, it's a bit uh, different. You can see that uh, the screen bezels are black and the keys in the keypad are black and both the laptops come with full layout uh, keypad whereas in Asus you see that the number pad is a bit the width of the number pad is a bit less when compared it with HP and you have the HP logo at the bottom center of the screen and you have the Asus Vivo book look at the bottom center of the screen and in HP you can see that the speaker grill is placed on top of the keyboard near to the screen whereas in Asus Vivo book the speakers are placed on the bottom, Asus Vivo book comes with bottom firing speakers, whereas the HP uh, 15S FQ 5090U comes with uh, the speakers which are placed on top of the keyboard near to the screen. This is how the complete keyboard looks. This is the HP laptop keyboard. You can see the power on button above the keypad below the speaker grill in the HP laptop, and you get a full keypad uh, in the HP laptop whereas in the you can see the trackpad of HP laptop it is rectangle in shape and this is the Asus Vivo book here also you get the full keypad and the power on off button is on to the top right button which is like any other button in the keypad and you see that the uh, width of the number pad uh, in the Asus Vivo book is a bit less when compared it with HP and you can see the uh, fingerprint scanner in the trackpad in the Asus Vivo book uh, the fingerprint is the fingerprint scanner is placed in the trackpad in the Asus Vivo book this fingerprint works really good and it's quite fast and it's quite fast and uh, quite accurate now let's look to the left profile of the laptops the HP uh, 15S FQ 5090U laptops left profile uh, comes with one charging port and two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports and nothing else and whereas the Asus Vivo book uh, left side port left side view comes with a single USB 2.0 port and two LED indicators the activity and the power on indicator and then the air vents and nothing else after that. Coming to the right of both the laptops, on the HP laptop you have the SD card reader, you, SD card reader, you have the headphone combo jack, you have the uh, two LEDs, uh, LED indicators which is for the power on off and then the, which is the power uh, indicator and the next LED is the activity indicator and then you have the type C port and then the HDMI port. Whereas coming to the Asus laptop, Asus Vivo book laptop, the right side has the headphone combo jack, the type C port, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports and HDMI port and then the power uh, power port. Now let's do the power on and shut down on both the laptops and see which is faster. As you can see we have powered on both the laptops and I am using these both the laptops for the past 15 days and the Asus laptop boots up much faster than the HP. The Asus takes just 4 to 5 seconds to boot up whereas the HP takes 10 to 12 seconds to boot up and even the shutdown is faster in Asus book and you have seen and you have just now saw that the fingerprint scanner works very fast in Asus Vivo book whereas the HP doesn't come with a fingerprint scanner and we have to manually enter the password and the fingerprint scanner in Asus Vivo book is quite fast and accurate due to which the boot up time reduces even more. Now let's do the shutdown test. So as you can see now I am trying to shut down both the laptops and you can note the seconds by yourself. Uh, you can see the see as you can see the Asus has shut down already and the HP is still showing the shutdown screen and now the HP laptop has shut down completely. Now let's let me show you the brightness of uh, the screens in both the laptops. The HP 15S FQ 5090U comes with and 15.6 inch full HD LCD anti glare screen with IPS LCD display and it supports 215 nits brightness whereas the Asus Vivo Big comes with 15.6 inch full HD LCD non IPS display anti glare display and it supports 220 nits brightness and you can see that the brightness is more in HP when compared to Asus Vivo Book. Now let me show you the display quality in both the laptops. As you can see we are playing a 4K video in both the laptops the same video and I will play, uh, play it continuously so that you can see the difference in the 
display of both the laptops so you can compare it for yourself i still feel the hp display is better than the asus vivobook display so now let's just talk about the display and then after that i'll talk about the multiple uh, comparison differences between both these laptops so coming to the display part the hp laptop comes with 15.6 inch full hd ips lcd display which ha which supports 215 nits brightness and it's an anti glare display and the asus vivobook comes with 15.6 inch full hd non ips lcd display which supports 220 nits brightness and even asus vivo book displays an anti glare display so both the displays are anti glare only thing is uh, hp is an ips display ips lcd and uh, asus vivo book is a non ips lcd and hp is 215 nits brightness and asus vivo book is 220 nits brightness and i still feel the brightness is better in hp and uh, the color reproduction is better in hp when compared with, with asus vivo book but the picture clarity and quality both are same the only thing is the brightness is a bit more in hp and the color reproduction is better in hp when compared it with asus vivo book uh, i am not saying that asus vivo book is bad both are good but hp is a bit better in color reproduction and brightness level if you are working in indoor conditions then you you don't need even 220 nits brightness because uh, i am using asus i am using both the laptops for the past 15 days and i only hardly set it to two or three level in the brightness uh, two or three uh, levels in the brightness and that is more than enough for working in indoor conditions whereas in outdoor conditions i never worked uh, with these laptops in outdoor conditions so i cannot comment on that and then coming to the other major differences between these two the hp laptop comes with Core i5 12 Gen 1235U processors. This 1235U processor is a 10 core processor which comes with 8 efficient cores and 2 performance cores. Whereas the Asus VivoBook comes with Core i5 12 Gen 1240P processor. This 1240P processor is a 12 core processor which comes with 8 efficient cores and 4 performance cores. So you are getting 2 performance cores extra in Asus VivoBook laptop uh, processor which is a 1240P processor now coming to the uh, ram so both the laptops come with 8 gb ram whereas us whereas hp comes with two 4 gb ram modules both are ddr4 ram both supports 3200 megahertz uh, ram so the hp comes with two 4 gb modules the advantage of this is you will have iris xc once you switch on the laptop once you open the laptop the iris xc will be activated i mean the, it comes it supports iris xc if you have two ram modules iris xc will get enabled immediately so with hp laptop once you switch on the laptop you will have iris xc now coming to the asus vivo book even asus vivo book comes with 8 gb ddr4 3200 megahertz ram whereas this 8 gb is a single module and it's soldered to the motherboard you need and there is an empty slot for expanding the RAM, you can add a total of 24 GB in Asus Vivo book, whereas the maximum RAM supported in HP is 16 GB. So, if you want to get, if and by default, Iris X is not enabled in Asus Vivo book as you are having a single uh, RAM module which is soldered onto the motherboard. So, you need to add either 8 GB or 16 GB RAM module in the extra slot. I have added 16 GB RAM module uh, in the Asus Vivo book, and now Iris X is working even in asus vivo book i will post the uh, video of how to add the ram and what is the ram that i have added in the asus vivo book in the next video now coming to the ssd both the laptops come with 512 gb nvme nvme ssd so there is not a big difference between the both in the ssd uh, case and now coming to the display we have already talked about the display now Coming to the build quality, coming to the build quality, the Asus Vivo Book is a better build quality compared with HP. I can see flex in HP, but I can see flex in Asus Vivo Book as well. But the flex is very less, and build feels really good in Asus Vivo Book when compared it with HP. Now coming to the looks, the Asus Vivo Book looks a bit better than the HP. HP also looks good. It's not like HP looks bad, but if you compare between the both, the Asus Vivo book looks a bit better. Looks are again uh, dependent on each individual. So you might feel a different way. This is just my opinion as Asus Vivo book color is a bit different when compared it with HP. HP is pure silver. It uh, Even the key, key uh, keypad is silver. Only the screen bezel is black. Whereas in Asus Vivo book, you, f you get a ice light uh, silver, which is a little blue tinge to the silver and the keypad, uh, 
the keypad keys are black in color and the screen bezels are black in color coming to the keys so the keyboard keys which are uh, if you compare between the both the asus vivo book keypad keys are a bit good and the feedback is a bit better when compared it with hp and now coming to the keyboard uh, the both the laptops come with full uh, keyboard layout but the asus vivo book uh, number pad is bit the width of the number pad in asus vivo book is bit less when compared it with hp now coming to the trackpad both the trackpads are good there is no issue in that whereas the asus vivo book comes with a fingerprint which is placed in the trackpad you can i have shown that earlier and the trackpad is quite good and fast and it's working uh, quite accurate as well now coming to the softwares uh, both the laptops come with uh, pre-installed windows 11 software both the laptops comes with uh, office uh, home and student 2021 which you need to activate once you switch on the laptop and and in addition to that asus vivo book comes with one year mcafee antivirus whereas hp comes with just one month trial version of mcafee antivirus this is an added advantage in asus vivo book and the asus vivo book comes with a privacy shutter for the webcam and even in the ports if you look at the ports here there is uh, in both the, in in hp hp comes with an SD card reader whereas Asus Vivo book doesn't come with an SD card reader and uh, Asus Vivo book has two 3.2 uh, Gen 1 uh, USB ports and one USB 2.0 port whereas HP comes with two 3.2 Gen 1 ports and the if you look at the adapter the HP adapter looks like an old uh, laptop which is coming for the past 10 years even if you look at an HP laptop adapter in the previous 10 years it the adapter looks the same both both comes with 65 watt adapters but the HP adapter looks a bit old whereas the Asus VivoBook adapter looks a bit modern and coming to the uh, uh, so adapter is done so coming to the speakers both the laptop speakers are good they are loud and clear don't expect something fantastic bass and uh, trouble but both the both the speakers are both the laptop speakers are good whereas asus uh, speakers are bottom firing speakers and hp speakers are top firing speakers which are placed above the keyboard uh, nearer nearer to the screen in hp whereas in the asus book they are placed at the bottom end uh, to the bottom end of the laptop uh, and I feel HP speakers are a bit more loud when compared to Asus Vivo book. Please note that I have done in-depth reviews of both the laptops and I am posting those links below in the description. You can have a look at both these uh, videos if you are planning to purchase any of this laptop or if you want to compare it with any other laptop. The Asus Vivo Book uh, screen can be put in 180 degrees. I mean, you can bend the screen as a single line. Whereas the HP screen cannot be put in 180 degrees. It it it's a, it's a slant. It's a bit slant. Whereas the Asus Vivo Book uh, screen can be just uh, put it at 180 degrees. This might be useful if you are working uh, if you are working while standing, which I do a lot, and so it is useful for me in the uh, uh, with the Asus Vivo Book. This is one more important aspect that I wanted to talk about. As you can see here, the left side HP screen is bright and white and there is a lot of blue light emitting out of the screen whereas the right side Asus Vivo book is uh, is a bit, it's showing a bit, uh, I mean less blue light. It's, it's a little bit of a brown sort of thing is coming out of it. This is because the Asus Vivo book is certified, is TUV Rainline certified, which is flicker free certified and low blue light software certified. Due to this, the Asus Vivo book uh, screen doesn't emit that much blue light as the HP uh, laptop is emitting. And coming to the prices of both the laptops, let me tell you uh, clearly that I have bought both the laptops. Uh, online and i have bought both the laptops in sale so the hp 15s fq 5090u i have bought it from flipkart for 47000 rupees in the previous sale 15 days back and the asus vivo book i have purchased it for 52200 from reliance digital uh, dot in online website uh, for 52200 whereas the actual price of Asus Vivo book was 57990 but I got a flat 10% discount using the credit card so it came to 52200 and even with HP it's the same I got some 7000 discounts with the credit card it was 54000 and it and I purchased it for 47000 guys 
it takes a lot of effort and time in making these videos please do support my channel by hitting the like button and do subscribe to my channel and share this video if you like this video a link for the product is posted in the description if you purchase this product using these links i get a small amount as commission which will be helpful in making more videos thank you for watching have a great day